Yeah. And over the weekend, one of the things we all did was mm. watch the National Spelling Bee yes. competition. Yes. And I kid you not, mm. I could not spell 95% <laughs> of the words. And I, I, it's very, it, I'm ashamed even admitting that. So for me, every single child who participated mm. is already mm. a winner. Yeah, because to absolutely. be able to be bold enough to be in front of and they were so confident, yeah. they would ask you, yeah pronounce it, yeah. use it within a context. Yeah. I'm like, when I was their age, <laughs> I couldn't even stand up in I front know, of adults. Right? I know, right? <laughs> Should we take a look at the highlights? Let's take a look at what happened. Let's take a look at what happened. Yeah. I love When I read, I go. When I listen to words, so 2018, we can six Fellas, and welcome to the third round of the 2021 National Spelling Bee Finals. Your word is purgative. 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 That sounds right. Please, can I have the definition of the word purgative? Tending to purge, cathartic, cleansing. Purgative. Please, can I have the origin of the word purgative? This word is originally Latin. Purgative. Please, can I have the alternative pronunciation of the word purgative? I have just the one here. Excellent. Your word is primipara. May I have the word again? Primipara. 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 May I have all the information about the word? Could you, could you say the word again? Primipara. Primipara is of Latin origin. It is a noun. It means an individual bearing a first offspring. In a sentence, it can be used like this. In the hospital, a mother having her first baby is called a primipara. Primipara. P. R. I. M. E P E R A Primipara. Primipara is spelled P R I M I P A R A Primipara. Thank you, Speller 14. Your word is untraceable. 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 Can I have the definition of untraceable? The definition? Yes, please. Not capable of being tracked down. Untraceable. Can I have the origin of untraceable? OK. So the first part of this word is an English combining form. The second part is from an originally French word. And the third part is an English combining form. Untraceable. U N T R A C E A B L E untraceable. That's correct. Rejuvenate. R E J U All right, so those are some of the highlights of what happened this weekend. And after all of that, hmm. one young woman <laughs> came out as the glorious winner yeah. of the 2021 mm -hmm. National Spelling Bee competition. Yeah. Her name is Na, Na Kushi, Kushi Mayuplanj. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. Well done. Oh, God. Well done. I well mean... Done. We have to also uh, in, 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 uh, introduce yeah, the, uh, the brains uh, behind. Uh, yes, <laughs> yes, yes, yes. So we have uh, Mr. Emmanuel Afo, yeah. who is the national coach mm -hmm. 
for the spelling bee. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, we have uh, Eugenia Sechimensen. A woman who needs no It's no stranger, <laughs> no stranger <laughs> to this set. <laughs> <laughs> but let's start with you now. Uh, first of all, a big, big, big congratulations to you. I mean, the whole country was just so proud of you. How did you prepare for this competition? Um, I spent my time studying root words and I also read a lot of books to improve on my vocabulary. Okay. How many hours a day would you usually invest in this? Um, about two or three hours. Okay. And how were you able to remember? Because listen, when I was your age, I, I watched Achille and the Bee, and I said, like, I'm going to be a spelling bee. <laughs> you know? but then I just, it just remained a dream. I didn't actually do it. <laughs> So how were you able to get up each day and commit to it? Um, I thought of how proud it would make the people around me and what an achievement it would be. Wow. wow. Mm, so that was your motivation. Now, how, how many years have you been preparing for this? How when did you first join the B as part of your, you know? I joined the Spelling B three years ago in 2018. Okay. Mm -hmm. And in that year, I made it to the semifinals. Okay. Wow. Then the next year, in 2019, I made it to the finals, mm. but I got out in the fourth round. Okay. And this year, I won. Wow. 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 So, so it's like a journey, and really, <laughs> you know, uh, what was your winning word? Um, my winning word was amaxophobia. Amaxophobia. Okay, yeah. what does that mean? <laughs> Yeah, um, amaxophobia is the, it's the fear of getting in vehicles. Hmm. Okay, yeah. interesting, okay. interesting. Had you ever seen that word before? No, before the finals, I had never come across the word amaxophobia before. Hmm. Okay, so what strategy did you use to succeed um, at spelling it? I asked for all the relevant information concerning the word. When I heard it was two parts Greek, I knew I had to spell the phobia P-H-O-B-I-A, because okay. normally in Greek, when you hear the sound, you have to spell it P-H. Mm -hmm. And I spelled the amaxo because I thought it would relate to the Greek word hamaxa, which means wagon. Hmm. Okay. How many times wow. do you hear a word okay. and you think of the wow. Greek wow. connection? That's, that's, well, that's what the spelling bee <laughs> does. <laughs> it, it, it takes you right back to the roots, I you know. know. That's, wow. that's fascinating. Well, how were you able to combine like all of this with your regular studies as well? Well, um, on weekdays, I would do my schoolwork and my homework. Then on weekends, I would learn my words and my roots, but it wasn't regimented learning. I also had time to do other things. Okay. Was there a time in the competition where you thought, maybe I won't win? Um, Yes, mm -hmm. maybe the time when I got my word wrong, mm -hmm. I got wildebeest wrong, yeah. and I thought I was out of the competition. Aww. So where did you <laughs> find the courage <laughs> to continue <laughs> going? Because some people, when they meet the first obstacle, they're like, okay, I'm dumb, yeah. I'm not going to win. Let me, they give up immediately. Mm. So what kept you going? Um, I think what kept me going was the thought of winning, and I just like the spelling bee and I just really wanted to win. Oh, Fantastic. Proud of you. Eugenia, um, <laughs> so we, we spoke about this earlier, but it's a, it's, it's a pandemic. We're in there. <laughs> all right. How, how challenging was it to put all of this together and, and make it a reality? And, and before you even answer that, congratulations Thank for you. putting <laughs> pulling this off <laughs> in a pandemic. It's incredible. Mm -hmm. I mean, a lot of big, big organizations would have just canceled and been like, listen, we're not going to do this. Yeah. So it takes a lot to, to pull this off, and, yeah. and we have to congratulate you on it. Well, thank you. Thank you. Um, it, it was, to begin with, it was teamwork um, and just meticulous planning. Mm -hmm. but, I mean, ferocious, meticulous planning, heightened sense of security because you're working with children. Um, and so just think of the worst case scenario and then triple it by a million mm. and then it gets everybody thinking. And so um, it was, I would say, I won't say necessarily it was challenging because the way we work with our program, we plan at least two years ahead. Mm -hmm. Obviously, we didn't see the pandemic yeah. coming, um, but it gave us time to be able to to listen to what the president maneuver. says in his yeah. updates and quickly adjust yeah. or quickly move around. Um, and so we put, we worked with Ghana police. We mm. worked with um, 
Ghana Health Service as okay. well. Mm -hmm. okay. um, and then we worked with, uh, we had to change our venue at the 11th hour because oh, wow. uh, what we were going to do, it wouldn't have worked in any regular venue. So mm. our Lisa Hotel uh, came to the rescue. Mm. That worked perfectly. Uh, where we, we had to be, we basically had to, um, what's the word, like uh, bubble. Yes. Mm -hmm. We had to bubble yes. our groups. So yeah. parents were in one bubble and mm. children were in another bubble. Mm. Mm. Um, and it, it just clock worked. Wow. It just clock worked wow. from there. But it was, uh, but again, I also give credit to the children. Mm. Um, this is because it's something you may not notice, but we know. Mm -hmm. Normally with the spelling bee, you will notice during the national finals, there were two microphones. Yeah. We normally have one. Mm. You just adjust, you hold it and adjust it to yeah. your level. Again, we didn't want touching. Yeah. Mm. And so they had that rule just once. Wow. Do not touch. Just stand behind the microphone that works for you. And they complied throughout. They kept their wow. masks on when they had to. Wow. Um, whenever they finished spelling, we had to quickly spray the air and mm. then the microphone. Yeah. Wow. Um, but you know, they were not they were not perturbed. Yeah. And and for us that spoke to the resilience we keep talking about that yeah. these children have. Once mm. you talk them through why mm. we're doing what we're doing. Mm. So it was I won't call it a challenge, but it was tasking, but it was worth it. What okay. kind of skills do you think children pick up when they are preparing for a competition like the spelling bee? I think they pick uh, the competitive streak. Yeah. I think if you don't already have it, you will pick it there. Mm. Um, I also think they, they also learn teamwork. Mm. Uh, they begin to learn how to cheer for others if they don't make it. And we saw yeah. a lot of that. Yeah. Um, they also learn how to lose gracefully. Mm. Um, and also when you're a winner, know how not to gloat. I mean, mm. these are all life skills that can never be taught. Mm. Um, I also believe that in, Na in Nakushi's case, for example, without saying it, she's learned the art of all this, the, the, the resilience skill mm. to keep coming back. You've yeah. got to be resilient. Yeah. You know, you're, you're knocked out, but yeah. you say, I'll go back. You're knocked out, you say, I'll go back. Yeah. Um, and that is one skill that we need young mm. people to have, not mm. to give up the first time it doesn't work. Yeah. And so we, 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 that's one of the things we're proud of in, in, mm. in the B, especially when the, the winner normally is someone who's done it more than once. Yeah. It speaks to the fact that resilience resilience yeah. is a skill every no, every yeah. average human being must have. Yeah. Tenacity, I yes. like that. Yes. Now, Mr. Ford, the spelling is is usually seen as a very challenging <laughs> um, subject. Why is that the case, and how do you get the your children to overcome this, you know, roadblock in their mind? Oh, thank you very much. And let me say congratulations yes. to yes. now and, <laughs> and to us. Um, I think it's 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 a well deserved win. Um, to answer your question um, directly, I, I think that the first reason is we are not a reading public. Mm. We are not. We are not. Okay. We are not a reading public. Yeah. So, point is, we construe spelling as being. Dick has been dictated to. I mean, we, mm -hmm. we think spelling and dictation are the same, <laughs> but they're never the same. Okay. In dictation, the teacher just mentions the word, and then you go ahead and you spell. Mm -hmm. yeah. In spelling, there are reasons why you must, and I'm sure you heard now articulate this beautifully, that one, you need to know the root. Mm. You need to know the origin, and so on and so forth. Now, when the reality hits, when people are hit by the reality of look, it's not just spelling is not just writing letters that is where they construe it to be difficult but mm. in the spelling bee that we run we take the children through training rigorous training wow. so this year for example we looked about 17 different topics origins part of speech word roots um varieties of english several of them mm. and so I, I i i guess the problem is really the fact that we don't read mm. so everything seems difficult to us yeah i mean there have been so many times that we've had We've heard parents say, ah, oh, the word is too difficult. Mm. Yet, the child is spelling the word. <laughs> and so, that might be something we should all get into mm. our DNA. Mm. That, look, once there is a pedagogical, and the last time I mentioned this word on radio, <laughs> the thing is, we must look at the way we teach children. Yeah. That is what I think. So, yeah. how do we get children to immerse themselves in the process? Because as I was listening to her, it looks like she even enjoys learning all about the word, not necessarily getting the word right, mm. but knowing enough about it. How do we get children and adults to, to enjoy the process? So, so the excitement is actually the fact that uh, we know spelling B is co-curricular. Mm -hmm. I, as a teacher of English, 
I have my reservations about it anyway. <laughs> because, I mean, if you teach English, there's no way you can say, you can say you won't teach spelling. Mm -hmm. Because spelling is actually the bedrock of everything. Yeah. Mm. And so it becomes fun when they realize that how they were taught certain concepts certain years ago, several years ago, has now changed. Yeah. Mm. Now, you are not rushing to the dictionary to look at meaning of a word, yeah. but you can just think through. It's okay. This word is Latin. And mm. because it's Latin, the S is S-C. Okay. When they get that, that's what actually excites mm. them. Mm. And they actually incorporate... I mean, we have had instances where children have said, I think you guys are making more sense than my teachers. Mm. <laughs> and we feel uncomfortable about that. But the truth <laughs> is that that is how it, yeah. is got to, it has got to be done. Yeah, yes. I, I like that. It's like the whole process of deduction. Exactly. You know, you exactly. know there's principles involved yeah. and then you can deduce for yourself. Because you see, deducing feeds into critical thinking, doesn't okay. it? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And that, and that is one thing we, 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 we push for. Mm. You know, that don't just feed them. That's why we are... We are we're not pro dictation yeah. because it, you're just giving me a list of words mm. and I'm coming to regurgitate it. Anyone can do that. Yeah. But yeah. if you now have to break it down to now, it be, because then you have to think. You mm. have to, as, as mm. my Nigerian friend will say, you have to engage your brain. Yeah. 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 <laughs> All right, so Eugenia, just in wrapping up for us, um, uh, can you tell us about the prizes that uh, Nakoshi got um, and then also the next spelling bee? Yes. When are you starting? Yes. And how do we all enroll our children? Yeah. Sure. Everybody's sure. wondering that. Yeah. Well, Nakoshi got <laughs> tons of prizes. Um, <laughs> the, she got 10,000 CDs scanned. Hey. Yes. Right. And she's not making any new all friends. Right. Oh, <laughs> you don't know she's not making any new friends. <laughs> so she got 10,000 CDs cash wow. prize. Um, she'll represent Ghana, um, uh, all things being equal, at the 94th script spelling Ooh. bee later on in the year. Okay. Fantastic. She got fuel coupons from Goyle. Okay. Um, her 10,000 was sponsored by Indomie. Oh. Um, she got, do you remember what else you got? Frankie. She thing. got Frankie's. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that one I remember. Frankie's. I like the food. <laughs> so yeah, I was going to say, she's got Frankie's. DSTV decoder. She got DSTV yes, decoder, so she got Frankie's for a year. Okay, so yeah. now this whole fighting over TVs <laughs> can stop, right? Uh -huh. yes. Yes. Now you have your TV own. TV programs, <laughs> yes. But, and when is the next edition and how do we all get our yeah, children Yeah, so the next involved? edition begins Wednesday. Okay. You know, from Wednesday. And um, we... You don't take a break. Yeah. We, we can't. <laughs> we can't <laughs> take a break because as he doesn't agree it's a co-curricular yeah. so once school is in session we've also okay. got to be running okay. even when school is not in session but we've got to yeah. be running so wow. we don't take a break so we start uh wednesday and um again because of the pandemic we can't go around schools so we're now online mm -hmm. and so we use our social media to mm -hmm. to uh solicit for enrollments mm -hmm. okay so okay. if you went to our, our our social media page handle so on facebook it's the spelling b g h mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. um on instagram is at the spelling b the insect okay, okay. Like, i keep saying that people type uh, just the letter b okay but it's <laughs> b the insect so okay. it's okay. At, yeah. at the spelling b g h on instagram okay. and on twitter it's at t s b the insect g h mm. nice. um there's a short form there you fill it and then um you know we'll take your we'll take your details come back to you and your child will be on this Wonderful journey of understanding how words work. Fantastic, wow. thank you and, very and much. All things being equal, now it's going to be Africa's sole representative. Wow, really? we need to stress yeah. on that. We need to stress wow. on that. Yes, wow. for, no for 14 years. The whole continent is dependent well on you. <laughs> for 14 years. Well done. Yes. Well different children and, and we're all confident that you would, you would make us proud. Is there anyone you want to give a special thank you to? Yes. Um, first, I would like to thank my parents for driving me around to the competition. <laughs> <laughs> then I would like to thank my grandmother for praying Aww. for me all the time. Mm. Then I would like to thank my teachers at school and my school B coach, Ms. Vivian Sua. Mm. And I would like to thank my school administration and all the Spelling Bee sponsors because I honestly don't think I'd be here without any of them. Fantastic. Wow. Well done. Yeah. Well done. Mm -hmm. Yes, uh, so mm -hmm. that was now. The sky is so bright for my future. Plunge. Yeah. Go promise your future is so bright. I know, right? <laughs> I know, right? You know, it's, it's such a beautiful story. And uh, we're looking forward to uh, many exciting um, happenings as she goes on to represent the country and represent the continent as well. Yeah. And enroll your children. It's yes, really you important. Yes, you, you should. Know. We, we, yeah. we want to create more gems yeah. like her. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> well, we want to say a big thank you to Eugenia as well as uh, Mr. Afo yeah. as well. And uh, we'll be right back with a lot of things coming up in the show for you. Don't go anywhere. My